Monarch's grief laid bare. Queen confirmed very sad news about Archie and Lilibet, its separation. The Queen's separation from her great-grandchildren Archie and Lilibet has been difficult for the monarch, veteran journalist Camilla Tomini has claimed. Queen Elizabeth II will this year celebrate her Platinum Jubilee to mark her historic 70-year reign. The landmark program of events will be an opportunity for the royal family to come together and celebrate the monarch who will have reigned for 70 years this summer. It comes as the Queen has remained largely separated from some members of the firm during the coronavirus pandemic, including her grandson Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex famously stepped back from their royal roles two years ago and now live in Montecito, California. Their youngest daughter, Lilibet, who is named after the Queen's family nickname, has never met her great-grandmother. But their first child, Archie, has met Her Majesty, even getting the chance to meet his great-grandfather Prince Philip, an event that took place at Windsor Castle with Meghan's mother Doria Ragland in May 2019. However, since then, Her Majesty is said to have found the distance between her and her great-grandchildren difficult, according to Camilla Tomini. The veteran journalist, who has written at length about the royal family, gave her verdict during Channel 5's documentary, 2021, The Queen's Terrible Year. Speaking about Archie and Lilibet, she said, I'm sure the Queen was absolutely delighted to hear the news that the Sussexes were expecting a second child. But it is difficult for the Queen because she hasn't been able to see Archie. I think the last time she actually saw him in the flesh was November 2019. The only time she's ever going to see these great-grandchildren is if they come over to the UK. Maybe she will see them next year as she marks her Platinum Jubilee. We have to wait and see. Harry and Meghan announced their decision to step away from their royal duties in January 2020. The reported soon after that the Queen was disappointed that she and other royals had not seen Archie as much as they would have liked. A source told the paper, she will be very sad to have barely seen Archie and that he will miss out on growing up with his cousins and wider family. In all, Archie has only met his grandfather Prince Charles, and his cousins Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, on a few occasions, according to the report. Meanwhile, Details of which royals will be involved in the Queen's Jubilee celebrations have not been released. It's been a tumultuous year for the House of Windsor, one filled with exhilarating highs, like the royal baby boom, and devastating lows, like the death of Prince Philip. Still, 2020 and 2021 will likely be remembered most for Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's stunning revelations about their deep unhappiness living life as senior royals. The now widowed Queen Elizabeth has had to weather a myriad of crises facing the crown, the most notable and most recent being Prince Andrew's lawsuit accusing him of sexual assault, all against the backdrop of relentless family drama. The widening rift between Harry and his brother, Prince William, and father, Prince Charles, has cast a shadow over the monarchy. Up until now, it has indeed been another Annus Horribilis, a palace insider told, quoting the Queen's famous speech from 1992. But there are things that could be done to unify the family during these difficult days. The breakdown of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship with the family has overshadowed almost everything else. It's time that the split be mended so the family can move on as a fortified unit. Family has always been so important to the Queen and she is deeply saddened by all the discord. Harry and Meghan have a key role in helping to end this crisis the royal family faces now. In particular, sources say, there's one thing Harry and Meghan must do at this critical time to heal the royal rift. Read on to find out what it is, and how likely they are to do it.